Hey guys, so today I thought I'd make a little different type of video from what I usually make. I am going to demonstrate on um, demonstrate you on the pretty easy process of cleaning and conditioning your leather seats. My example is a 2000 Acura TL with the fern leather interior. Now this leather is kind of a rare op well not a rare option but no one bought it. So um, you might not have this color combination but I know other cars have gray. And um, I already cleaned the seats, and it's the same process, you just use leather cleaner instead. I used Meguiar's um, Gold Class Leather Cleaner. Actually, you know what, let me show you. What happened in my trunk. Meguiar's Gold Class Leather Cleaner. You want to make sure you clean your seats first. See, mine weren't too, too dirty. This is a stain over here, but um, that's about it. And there's a couple over here, nothing I can do about that. So you definitely want to make sure you clean your leather first. Now, um, for cleaning, you do want to use a separate rag, but um, the same process goes. I'm using Lexol leather conditioner. Bought it at AutoZone for ten bucks. Um, I got Meguiar's. I got the Meguiar's at Walmart, but you can get it anywhere. AutoZone sells it as well. So you want to spray it on the microfiber towel. Let it sit for a minute, just so it um, dissolves into the rag, and then apply it. I'm going to do the backrest. See, it's a very easy process. You may need to do it two or three times to get your leather looking like new. But um, I did my driver's seat a few times, and um, yeah, so I guess I'll bring the car in the sun to show you how that came out. You do wanna let it sit for a minute, and then if there's some excess, you wanna dry it. But I try to keep my car from being parked in the sun. So I guess I'll show you guys how my driver's seat came out. See, it's looking better than it was. The leather's a lot shinier. Looks a lot more new. Now you will notice if you have cracks on the side, they will be a lot more apparent, but then as the conditioner settles, they'll go back to normal. My phone will focus. Let's see, my leathers are not, bad, not a bad shape for the mileage of the car. You will notice you don't slide around as much in the leather either. At least I don't have to recondition it. You can see I have 148,012 miles on the car. For those of you that follow my channel, you'll know I bought the car with 147,700. So I have put a quite a bit of mileage on it. I haven't done my door panels, so I just clean them. I don't think I'm gonna bother conditioning them. But let me move myself into the sun here. You can see, it's looking pretty good. The um, one major crack is still there, but these little cracks in here have kind of faded a little bit. I'm impressed. But um, yeah, that's about it guys. So um, let me know what you think and I'll make a long term update on um, how the leather is held up with the conditioner. Now uh, one more tip, you do want to condition your leather about once a month, uh, obviously depending on how much you drive. But um, I'm going to do mine about once a month or so. So thanks for watching.